The following Best of Central Florida program is sponsored in part by Studio T Photography, Megan Vale Photography, and Sophila Radio and Television Productions. Welcome to the Best of Central Florida. I am Justin Clark. I will never forget. The year was 2002. I was in law school in Boston, hanging out at the Beantown Pub to be exact. A classmate comes over, introduces himself. He said he was from Orlando. I was shocked. I thought Orlando was theme parks chain restaurants, maybe a water park or two. Who would have thought that now 20 years later, I would have lived here for 15 of them. Who would have thought I would raise my two little girls here? Who would have thought I would fall in love with Central Florida? It's a hidden gem, great restaurants, professional sports teams, booming art scene, the Wakaiva River, the beaches, and yes, even the theme parks. From Ferndale to Frostproof, Rockledge to Reddick, this is the best of Central Florida. Well, 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 what a show today. It's best photographers in Central Florida. Welcome, Michaela Nichols, the, the beautiful as always. How are you? Good, how are you? So you remember that time we did a show about real estate and uh, <laughs> I had to carry you? Yeah, no, I. how could I forget? <laughs> well, today you're obviously going to be carrying me. You're a model, I'm obviously not. Uh, you, you've been in front of the camera a million times. I obviously haven't. I mean, I went to Owen Mills once no, as a kid, no. I think. Uh, you're gonna do most of the heavy lifting today. I mean, uh, yeah. Photography. Very important. We live in this world though where everyone takes pictures with their, their iPhones or whatever the other phone is called, Samsung or whatever. Uh, there is a big difference in taking a picture on, on your phone versus professional photography. What is the difference? Um, well, we're gonna find out. It's obviously, you know, night and day. iPhone shots are very much different from a professional, so I'm gonna address both. You think so? I think so. I mean, people need to know that taking a photo on your iPhone just, uh, it's not it. But you have been in modeling in New York, LA for your whole life, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, what can a good photographer do to make you look better, but also feel more comfortable? I mean, honestly, just being yourself. I know that's like really cliche, like be yourself. <laughs> it is but, cliche. No, but, but it's true. I mean, it's just a camera. So just kind of be you and they capture that. Make love to the camera, they say. No, right? no? not in there. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. that was creepy. I mean, I guess it depends on the context, but you Here, know. Here's what we're gonna do, uh, a <laughs> little quick break. When we come back, Michaela is going to tell you the best photographers in all of Central Florida. The following Best of Central Florida Michaela's Choice is sponsored in part by Studio T Photography and Sophila Radio and Television Productions. Growing up, I literally lived in front of the camera. My dad was a photographer, and let's be honest, thank you, Justin, he's not even sparing a moment. So there's a lot of people that I've worked with, like I've mentioned, but there is one who has a special place in my heart, so it's no question that Michaela's choice for best photographer is Studio T. I am joined by my good friend, Susan. It's been a minute, Susan, since I've known you. Yeah, it has. <laughs> I'm glad you showed that magazine cover. Um, we have She's so proud of it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I have it here in the studio right now. She's. I very love proud that that image. And you know, every time I look at that image, I, I, do too, actually. I think. Thank you. You are beautiful. Thank you. I think about how comfortable I look because sometimes you know you get in front of a camera and people kind of tense up. How do you make them comfortable? Yeah, it's a very vulnerable place to be. Mm -hmm. um, and it's good for photographers to have to be in front of the camera sometimes as well to experience that. So I think as long as the person that you're photographing knows that you're on their side and you're gonna give them direction of their face, of their body, what's gonna look best on them, they know you've got their back and they start to relax. That's important, yeah. especially when you're dealing with headshots. I mean, what's the difference for people who are watching and they might not know, what's the difference between like a headshot and a personal branding shot? So a headshot is if, basically if you were just doing one image for, for your, 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 still your branding because the yeah. brand is all about your own personal style and how your clients are gonna relate to you, right? 
So if, if somebody's like, I just need a, a headshot, well, we still want that to be amazing, but of if course. they want to explore more about their business, more ways they can connect with their ideal clients, then they should do more branding images because that's gonna show who they are, maybe images of them working with their clients, the environment that that person might be walking into if they chose to work with them, uh, possibly a group of the different people involved in that business, um, the owner in different scenarios changing clothes. So a well-rounded picture of who that person is and who their company is. And when their ideal client is going around online, are they gonna pick the site that has like um, stock images on it? Yeah. Or are they gonna pick someone, oh, I really feel like I kinda know this place and I feel a comfort level already. So that's what business branding images are all about. So maybe the person who's watching is like, I took an awesome shot on my iPhone. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have for that person to be like, hey, you actually need to go and, and hang out with my friend Susan <laughs> and get a professional shot because let's be honest, it makes the world of difference. It makes a huge difference. I've had people tell me that once they finally like bit the bullet and <laughs> invested in a real headshot, their business also increased because their level of credibility and trustworthiness seem to go up with yeah. their clients. And like I've actually had testimonials that say that in it, which is so fantastic. So it's definitely, I, I feel like the dating sites is a good place for those cell phone pics, <laughs> but yeah. probably Most not definitely. your business. <clears throat> yeah. Well said. And speaking of, you know, you do the individual shots and then you do a lot of family photos. Mm -hmm. I've had a family portrait with you yeah. on multiple occasions. Mm -hmm. You know, how do you really kind of focus on that as a family? Because I'm sure it's difficult to get Sorry, a family together. I just together. have it here. I have it's to. You're so just so you. helpful. So I just, I just he like is. that you're so <laughs> into yourself <laughs> that you brought all your photos here. I, the, whatever. <laughs> so a family portrait. <laughs> portrait can conjure up many different things in somebody's mind. Uh -huh. um, it can be fear, it can be frustration, it can be like, oh no, we're going to have to go through that whole ordeal again. Well, yeah. my job is to make it so you don't have to have all those feelings of anxiety. As you do. Okay? <laughs> so we do a, an in-depth consultation, find out about your, your personal style in your home, because we're going to photograph something that's going to look beautiful in the home decor you already have there. Um, so I'm going to find out if you're contemporary, are you rustic, are you, you traditional, like what are the different styles that you enjoy and what do you have in your home already. Um, then we're going to talk about uh, is it your home that you want to be photographed in or would you like another location or do you want to be in the studio. So there's different options. I have them look at my website, decide the ones that they're most attracted to, then we can design their image around something we already know they love. Uh, and we talk about the products because this is not just a shoot and burn, digital, yeah. here you go. This is very curated. Uh, I've already edited everything for you. Uh, by the time you see them, we're down to the best of the best. And then uh, amazing artistry will be applied and retouched and made into something that is really an heirloom. And I did bring uh, a piece that you'll see yeah. over here, that one, um, where we're actually customizing the edges to fit your home decor, different linens and wood surfaces. Uh, on canvases, so it's it's really about these amazing products. They're, these are printed in Italy. They're exquisite, and yes, this is yeah. also one of those. And this is the heirloom album, and it is it's so breathtaking. It the is. cover you can see, it's got a beautiful, beautiful shine to it. Comes in a leather custom box. Um, we select the colors that surround the image to make sure that they go well with the image. Um, this is something you would be super proud to have on, on your, displayed in your home, in your living room, or on a coffee table. Um, and it's all printed on Amalfi papers, also mm -hmm. from Italy. So that's, that's a next level <laughs> yeah. uh, album. And it's it's absolutely it's it's so worth it. It's amazing. It Your is. stuff's amazing, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Thank absolutely you, <laughs> Susan. Thank you so much. And do yourself a favor. Check out Studio T. I mean, her work speaks for itself. I've known her for quite some time, and she's <laughs> always made me feel beautiful. And uh, we'll be right back after this short break with People's Choice. The Best of Central Florida is sponsored in part by Touchstone Real Estate. Michaela and I are so happy to be joined by the CEO of Touchstone Real Estate, Addie Owens. The list of accomplishments impressive. 2022 Florida State President of the Residential Real Estate Council. 2020 President, Realtor Association of Lake and Sumter and on and on and on. I, why anyone would want to hire anyone but you, I really don't know. Welcome, Addie, how are you? Thank you, very Let's good. Let's think about this, we hear that this is coming into the peak buying season, into, into March and into the summer. 
But now we're in this weird position where people have equity, but it's also hard to come around and buy another house and you have to live somewhere. What are you telling your clients to do? I've never had a client at a closing table not know where they're going to go next. Is that right? Yeah. A lot of it is fear factor. Um, you know, where am I going to go next? I know that life demands us to change our housing at certain points in our life, right? Whether you're downsizing or upsizing, you're getting married, you're having a baby, all of those things necessitate a change in, in your dwelling factor, right? right. Yeah. Are you finding more people that are upsizing or downsizing now, or is it a mix? Well, it's a good market, so a lot of people are upsizing. Upsizing, now is the time. Yeah. How yeah. hard is it to buy a house right now? We talked about mm -hmm. 25 offers, multiple offers on every house within an hour of listing. How hard is that now? Uh, you're seeing that in certain price sectors, but not all of them. Um, at the higher the price level, there's not as many offers, obviously. It's the lower price levels that tend to drive the more, more buyers in our space. So that's where it gets most competitive. Gotcha. But it's not the same it's not the same story for, for for every market. Let's say someone's sitting on the sidelines right now, they're thinking, well, the rates went up a little bit, I heard the market's impossible, I'm gonna sit on the sidelines and wait. Is yeah. now a good time to wait or is now the time to purchase a home? Yeah, that's really a bad move to sit and yeah. wait because the interest rates are going up and I can't yeah. stress this enough. If you pay $340,000 for a house today versus $300,000 for a house yeah. you know, 15 months from now at a higher interest rate, you're paying more for the same, same house. You're, you're, the payment is what really matters to you. Addy right. Owens, keep up the great work. Do yourself a favor. If you're looking to buy a house or certainly sell your home, Addy is fantastic. Good job, Addy. See you soon. The following Best of Central Florida People's Choice is sponsored in part by Sofila Radio and Television Productions. You have spoken, the people have spoken. People's Choice for Best Photography this week goes to, and it's a surprise to the person to my left, goes to Michaela. Oh. I got so many messages about things like this and mm -hmm. people have seen you they've seen your modeling and they said justin you, you must celebrate her today and oh. you are beautiful obviously you, you've been a model i mean what is it like getting your photograph taken professionally in front of all of these people all the time what's it like it's kind of crazy i mean i started when i was 14 years old um so a little 14 year old michaela is super awkward getting in front of a <laughs> camera had no idea what to do but I don't know, it just kind of has allowed me to, to kind of grow up in front of the camera and now doing stuff like this, it's uh, been cool. Now some of these photos were taken by some of our, our winners today, yeah. including the, the family photo right yes. there. Tell me about that picture. And where, so, where does that hang out at the house, be honest It's with me. literally when you walk into my parents' house, this is my dad Steve, my mom Cheryl, and obviously me, um, naturally blonde guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is like a family portrait that we did a while ago and uh, it's been in our house ever since. You know, a lot of people out there probably are thinking about about uh, going into modeling. Uh, I know you don't ever want to be negative about anything, but tell us about what modeling is really about. Um, that's a really great question, Justin. I'm so if glad you, had, you asked. I, well, I, uh, I read your book, <laughs> let's be honest. No, so. modeling's great. I think uh, I think it was a great career. It obviously led me to be you know, where I'm at today, and you know, I'm very proud of like the book and the things that came after modeling. Because um, I think everyone's beautiful, and I think there should be no uh, limit to someone's beauty. So, but modeling was, uh, you know, a bit of a challenge for you at times. I mean, I, again, I read your book, great, great book, blatantly honest. We'll have a picture of it here on the screen, I'm sure. Uh, 14 years old, 16 years old, living in New York City, it is kind of a weird life. It was a weird life. Um, I met a lot of amazing people. You know, I've done like New York Fashion Week, done like international campaigns, been on billboards, been in like Times Square. Uh, amazing career that you've had. Uh, we're lucky, all of Central Florida is lucky to have you here on, on Best of Central Florida, of course. Uh, any uh, future aspirations of modeling or is that ship sailed? You know, I'll never say never. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to do something to be you know, positive and a great role model for, for our youth. Because I don't think being a model is like you know the end all be all. But uh, being a good role model is, is always the goal. A role model, you have been a great one. You have been. Thanks for all you've done. Here's what we're going to do. Quick break. When we return. Justin's Choice is up next. This portion of the Best of Central Florida is sponsored in part by IQ Power Solar. 
I'm here with Stephen Bader, the COO of IQ Power Solar. Steve, as you know, I went solar at my house with IQ Power Solar. Thank goodness that I did. There are a lot of door knocking companies out there. There are a lot of these sales organizations that pretend to do solar. They are not IQ Power Solar. What separates you? Well, yeah, I mean, it's an exciting industry and a lot of people are getting into it. And uh, that's a good thing, right? For the most part, no one says, oh, I want to just put as many panels on the roof. That's not a good investment. We understand home energy. We understand how to get the best return on your investment. And we understand that at the end of the day, you're not buying a solar system. No one says, I can't wait to get up and look at my system. You're buying an outcome. So that's what we focus on. We focus on an outcome, a promise, someone hold accountable for that promise, and, uh, and you know, a 40 year commitment to it. So that's what we do. Uh, really what made us switch to solar was our electric bill was insane. It was six, seven hundred dollars a month. What made me choose IQ Power was I had a bunch of people obviously come knock on my door um, and I just went through and did some research on it. I liked that they were all under one contract. It wasn't uh, multiple contractors. Everything was handled through the same uh, individual um, and they knocked everything out in a timely manner and really worked it out for us. They had the best warranties and guarantees in the business, and my wife really liked that. Um, they were fantastic to, uh, to work with. Thank you for what you did for me and my family, Steve, IQ Power Solar. Do yourself a favor, give IQ Power Solar a call today. You will not regret that decision. It's my pleasure, thanks for having me. The following Best of Central Florida, Justin's Choice, is sponsored in part by Megan Vale Photography and Sophila Radio and Television Productions. And finally, it's time for my favorite portion of the program. It's time for Justin's Choice. And pretty obvious, you know I have two daughters. Justin's Choice this week goes to Megan Vale Photography. Megan is here. Hello, Megan, how are you? I'm great, thanks for having me on. You specialize and do a fantastic job. And, and trust me, I'm gonna get one of our producers to bring some of these photos up in a minute. With newborn photography or, or people who are pregnant photography, how in the world do you get into that? And this is important. I mean, Trinity, they, not people who are pregnant See, I knew you were going to jump in. Just, see, look, here's the deal. She thinks she's a she is a model. I'm obviously not a model. So she thinks she knows everything about photography. It's you maternity, know? is it not? So it is maternity. Maternity photography. Megan, how'd you get into that? Well, I've been a professional photographer for about 12 years, um, and I knew from the very beginning that I'd rather work with newborn babies and children than doing weddings and some of the other genres. So I started focusing really early. So now I do mostly maternity photography, newborn photography, and some children and family as well. A lot of people think they can just take pictures on their iPhone and post it on Facebook, and this is gonna be a, a memory that lasts a <laughs> lifetime. I, mean, I would disagree. And, and Tyson, if you don't mind, can you bring a couple of these unbelievable photographs that Megan has done here? Because th this is not Facebook stuff, and I, I'm sorry to, to bring you in here, Tyson, but I have to see these. This, you want to talk about memories that last a lifetime. These right here are memories that last a lifetime. This yes. is not taking a photo on your iPhone. This is taking a, an unbelievable professional photo uh, of the most special day of your life. This is what you do. Correct. So it is a little bit different than whipping out your iPhone and taking photos. Wow. Um, there are billions of photos taken each year with iPhones and smart cameras. Um, but what I do is a little bit different than that. <laughs> it, completely different than that. Now, obviously, a lot of people at home are, are watching right now thinking, how do you keep a, a newborn or a toddler uh, smiling all the time? <laughs> <laughs> that must be a challenge. Well, yes. Well, I'm not trying to get the newborns to smile. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get them to sleep, actually. So newborn photography, what a lot of people don't know is that um, those sessions are done when the baby is about two weeks old. Okay. Um, that's when they're still fresh and sleepy and willing to curl up and do all the different poses that you see in some of my photos. And you know, I uh, have two daughters, uh, they're nine and four, Sophia and Mila, I love them to death, obviously, but what, what I've noticed is whenever you have a baby, at least at the hospital that I went to, I won't name any names, they actually bring a photographer into that hospital room mm -hmm. right when you have the baby and uh, it feels kind of Disney Worldish to me, to be honest with you. Yeah, I agree. Um, I had that happen to me as well. Um, my studio is a little bit different than the photographers that come in after the baby's born in the hospital. Um, 
moms are able to prepare a little bit better yeah, yeah. <laughs> than after just going through labor. Um, and I help them with that process. I want to make sure that when they come into the studio, they're very comfortable with me, the studio, and everything that I'm going to do. They're getting ready to hand over their brand new newborn baby, and I want them to be able to trust me. So um, we actually meet prior to the session, and we go through everything that, for them to expect right. and um, design the, speci the session specifically based on what they want. You know, there are certain things in life that uh, do last forever. And I imagine now, after you having clients for years and years as you have, these people become friends to you. And you go to their house and you see, again, the most important day of their life on their wall. That's never going to go anywhere. This is the kind of thing that lasts forever. Correct. We're creating heirloom artwork, not just photos. So. Um, these are things that they're going to be able to hand down to their kids and grandkids. And that's the entire point of what we're doing. We're trying to create something that's meaningful. It's capturing the most important time in their lives. And it's something that they're going to be able to see and enjoy every single day instead of uh, being tucked away on their phones or social media or something like that. When, so yeah, when you think of digital versus uh, printed, I mean, this is really art. I mean, th this is art. What are the differences in digital versus printed artwork like this? Well, like you mentioned, everybody has a, has a camera because we've got phones that we carry around with us. So um, even with that at our fingertips, there's a big difference between what you take every day in everyday life that's never going to leave your phone or be seen by anybody else and the creation of actual artwork. Yeah. So um, that's really the goal is to make sure that what I create for my clients is actually going to be seen and enjoyed by them. Um, people would not come to me and trust me with their their heirloom images if um, all they were going to do is then live on their iPhone. So That's I want right. to make sure that all of my clients have printed artwork. And you're doing a fantastic job. I cannot wait for uh, everyone at home to see the amazing things that you've done. Megan, keep up the good work. Great Thank to you. see you. Congratulations on your big win today. Thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, this was your show, basically. Yeah. I mean, you are the model. I'm not the model, obviously. Everyone at home knows that. but. Uh, you did a great job. Thanks for pulling me through today. Of course. I, re I really appreciate that. <laughs> a special thanks, as always, to our WKMG crew. They've been uh, at Sebring filming race cars. They had to come back here and deal with us today. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Uh, most importantly, thank you for joining us this weekend and every weekend. Hit record series now. We'll see you next week for more Best of Central Florida. The preceding Best of Central Florida program was sponsored in part by Studio T Photography, Megan Vale Photography, and Sophila Radio and Television Productions.